What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And uh, yeah, long time no see. It's been a while since I've actually recorded a video. I apologize in advance for the lighting if any issues are going on. Yes, I'm sitting in front of my Christmas tree. Usually I sit right over there, but we have a lot of stuff going on due to the Christmas tree being there. So I'm not going to be recording there today. But other videos, yes, I will be sitting right back in that corner again and recording videos like I have previously. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm actually going to be doing my like fan fiction wrap up video. So for the entire year of 2023, I decided to track the fan fiction that I read throughout the year. So I'm tracking how many words I read over the entire year, how many pages I read, and I also broke it down into months as well as like how many pages I read for per month, how many fanfics I read per month, how many words I read per month, as well as tracking, you know, which was the most read pairing that I had as well. I also did track the tags that I read the most, but I will not be talking about those in this video. The tags that I choose to read are between me and God and whoever else takes a peek at this sheet but I'm not going to be saying it here in today's video I'm also at the end of this video going to go over some of my like new videos that I plan to come out with for 2024 and kind of like what my plans are from there but let's get started with the fan fiction part of this video and as many of you guys know I've talked about this before the fan fiction that I've really been reading like a part of what fandom I've been reading a lot of has been BTS fan fiction I know some people might have some issue with that but please don't come for me this is just I just think of it as just characters in a story so there you go but anyway let's go through how many fanfics i read over the entire year of 2023 also side note merry belated christmas and happy new year when this video comes out it will be january 1st but i am recording this on december 29th so as of right now these are how many fanfics i have read in 2023 but i am currently in the middle of reading a fanfic and I plan to read more all the way up to January 1st. So I will put like an updated somewhere over here of how many fanfics I've read, pages and words, but this is what it currently is at the time that I am recording this video. So as far as how many fanfics I've read, I have read 107 fanfics over the entire year. I've read 18,108 pages. And for words, I've read 7,542,749 words. Now I know that that doesn't sound like a lot of fanfics and for me typically the fanfics I read are multi-chapter fanfics so usually most of these fanfics I read are 10 or more chapters and are about a hundred thousand to the longest one I read was like 1.2 million words over the span of this entire year. So that's why it doesn't seem like it's a lot of fanfics but in reality the fanfics I read were very very long. I just recently this year started reading more one-shot fanfics so those have been incorporated into here but in 2024 I do plan to incorporate those a lot more as well. As far as the month where I read the most fanfics, the month I read the more fanfic, most fanfics in was in July. I read a total of 18 fanfics, which was 1,368 pages and 613, 473 words. I don't know what was going on in July, but for some reason I had a lot of time and I was able to read a lot of fanfics. I think this might have also been the month where I read the most one-shot fanfic, fanfics as well. The month where I read the least amount of fanfics was actually in January. I read a total of 3,286 pages and 1,478,864 words. This is probably my least read month because the one fanfic that I had actually started reading in 2022 and finished in January of 2023 was a fanfic that was 1.2 million words and that is why it actually is the month where I've read the most pages and the most words due to that one fanfic and it took me basically the entire month of January to finish and I looked like roped in two other fanfics within that um, just to break up the monotony of me reading that really really long fanfic as well. Now as far as my most read pairings as well, so I also want to say that I did read fanfics on both AO3 and on Wattpad. I read on both platforms, although I do prefer AO3 more. So my most read uh, pairing, I'm, on, I'm going to do my top five because I feel like my top three, the first two are very similar. So the first one with actually my first top 
one, these both have the most percentages and they're with 10.3% and they are either BTS and a original female character pairing or BTS X reader pairing. So that reason why uh, I read those a lot, uh, mostly those fanfics are either like soulmate AUs or anything else like that. And usually it's like a character with all of the members. Those are the ones I tend to read the most. As far as my other ones that I read the most, it was with, I think it is 7.5% was BTS OT7. So it's basically just all the members being together. And then my next top two was with uh, 7 point, ooh, no, actually no, sorry. With 6.5%, it was a Jimin and Jungkook pairing. And then with 5.6%, it was Young with Jungkook. So it was Jikook and Cook were my two other top pairings as well for the entire year. All the other pairings I have on here are a little bit smaller. And it is this, this is just mostly also a testament to what people tend to write about the most within the BTS fandom on fanfics. Um, Jikook and Cook are probably one of the biggest, like, shipping pairings as well so i do read the other pairings as well but they're a little bit harder to come by and usually they're secondary ship pairings and not like the first pairing as well i'm not going to go into tags i already mentioned that before but that's pretty much the fanfics that i read for 2023 i do plan to do this again for 2024 so expect another video like this as well um, as far as what my plans are for 2024, I know that for 2023, I didn't record a whole lot of videos. And for 2024, I plan to definitely record a lot more. I do plan to kind of like not stick to like every Wednesday and Saturday recording a video or uploading a video, but pretty much um, recording a video when I see fit. Like I, I feel like I want to record a video, but mostly doing my upload schedule still for Wednesdays and Saturdays. So new videos will only be posted on those days and but they won't be every wednesday and saturday i also plan to get back into doing a lot of reviews as well i'm not going to do any fan fiction reviews though fan fiction reviews are between me myself and i but i will be doing reviews on anime again manga webtoons as well as on general fiction books as well because i plan to get back into reading those in january i feel like i've read so much fan fiction over the past two years i do want to get back into reading regular books and a lot of them seem very interesting for me and i also want to go back as well into re reviewing k dramas as well and maybe even some movies let me know what you guys think about that now, as far as do I have anything already planned that I plan to review in the year 2024? I do, because there are a lot of things that I'm currently reading and watching that I plan to finish next year and start, of course, reading and watching new ones. Now, when it comes to anime, I do plan to review Attack on Titan. I do know that the entire series is finished. I am actually doing a rewatch of basically the entire thing. I did not watch season three or four. I stopped halfway through season two originally when I was watching it. And this was just because of the fact that I was so tired of the long hiatuses in between. And I really at the, that time did not like the route the story was going. Um, at the time I was also reading the manga and when I was watching the anime, it was at the part where I remembered from where the manga I had read. And a lot of stuff was just happening so fast that I just really didn't like it and I didn't like how Aaron was acting. It was just a lot at that point in time, so I stopped watching it. But after hearing a lot about the fourth season and hearing a lot of people's opinions about it, I do want to go back and watch it. So at this point in time, I am re-watching it. I'm still in the very first season, so I plan to obviously next year finish up that entirely and then go back and start watching more anime as well. And as far as for regular fiction books or regular books just in general, I do have my first read for 2024. I plan to read the BTS book Beyond the Story. I actually did get this book back in July when it was first released. I actually have multiple copies sitting on my bookshelf. And originally I was reading this and was annotating it as well, but I decided uh, I wanna actually just read it without annotating it, at least not physically annotating it. I realize that's really not for me, but I do have the book on my Kindle and I plan to read it on there as well. I also do plan to read or listen to audiobooks as well. I don't have my first audiobook just yet that I plan to listen to, but that will be probably coming up in 2024. Now, as far as for Webtoons is concerned, I am currently reading two, two 
webtoons. The one I'm reading on the actual webtoon app is called Age Matters. I've been reading this for some time. It has like the daily pass attached to it, so it's taking me a little bit longer to get through it. And I'm also reading a, a webtoon on the app Manta or Manta. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. But the one I'm currently reading, I believe, is called Idol House. And pretty much with Idol House, it's basically about a... Oh, well, I was reading Idol House. Apparently, it's no longer available due to licensing. So I'm going to have to find Idol House. But anyway, probably going to end up reading Somatic Error because I've heard a lot about it. And I'm probably going to end up reading that. So, yeah, that sucks. I thought Idol House was still up. But anyway, I'm going to go see where I can find Idol House so I can finish that because I actually really did enjoy uh, uh reading that seems like it's something regarding licensing so maybe it got licensed and maybe that's why they took it down but anyway that's what i plan to do and then as far as for k-dramas are concerned i've been watching true beauty as you guys know this year i did do a review on the true beauty uh webtoon and i have now started the k-drama associated with that and uh yeah so far i'm really liking it i plan to watch more and then for manga, I've been reading a side character love story on my Kindle. And uh, yeah, I definitely plan to, of course, do a review on that as well. But yeah, that is probably the other videos that I plan to come out with in 2023. But I do want to also do a video talking more about the Webtoon apps that I use, both Webtoon and Manta. I've been using both for a little bit of time, although I do want to like go back and using them a lot more so I can make this video talking about the differences between both. I want to talk about Webtoon, the apps, and more about the subscriptions as well. I also want to talk about... Um, uh, I use my Kindle the most to read on currently. I want to talk about the pros and cons of using the Kindle, especially when it comes to reading manga on there. And yeah, that is basically what I have in store and planned for 2024. Uh, I know people are probably going to look at my end card. It still says Twitter and it's going to be changed to X. I'm not going to make a new end card. It's going to stay there as well. Um, probably, like I said, my uploading schedule is going to be whenever I decide to upload videos on Wednesdays or Saturdays. So you'll see new videos then. And this video, though, will be up on Monday, January 1st. Like I said, Happy New Year, you guys. And so, yeah, I look forward to all the new videos I plan to put out in 2024. And don't worry as well. I will still be doing a lot of discussion videos as well within the anime community. Don't know if I'm going to do discussion videos about the K-pop community. I might we'll see but yeah that's what i have for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys soon with a new one in the new year and like i told you guys have a great new year's leave your comments below for any suggestions you have for any videos you would like me to come out with in 2024 did you guys like me doing a fan fiction wrap-up video as well um also yes i do have some reading goals for 2024 i plan to read 25 fan fictions and 25 regular uh traditional novels as well i am tracking all of that i have my notions as well i have journals in my ipad for me to keep my reviews on so yeah i plan to be very organized in 2024 hopefully um so yeah i will see you guys soon with a brand new video like i always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and in today's day and age stay healthy and of course please stay safe all right you guys